Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Could Britain look toward the Commonwealth to develop economic prosperity? New enforcement proposals by the EU over coolants used in vehicles. Britain at risk of becoming a criminal's refuge. 1.3 billion euros up for grabs in the EU science X factor. And also, European Union assistance package for Palestinians. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. One. First, from our homepage, Eurosceptic Tories have gone beyond calls for a referendum on the EU and have begun campaigning for the immediate redevelopment of economic ties with the wider global Commonwealth. Left out to dry since Edward Heath saddled Britain on the EU rocking horse, the Commonwealth has survived as a vibrant economy and still has deep loyalties to the UK. Countries such as Canada, India and Australia have strong desires to trade further and strengthen their relationships with the UK. This article investigates the possibilities in detail. EU Industry Commissioner Antonio Tajani has put on the gloves and come out fighting. Antonio, in the blue shorts with the gold stars, unleashed his opening volley. We will issue tough penalties to those who do not abide by our directives on green coolant in air conditioning for cars. Check out the full story in our articles section of theunit.com. More foray over a UK possible exit from Europe. In this article, Scottish police chiefs have warned that the UK risks becoming a refuge for foreign criminals. If the government presses ahead with plans to repatriate powers from Brussels, then the UK could become a haven for immigrants seeking refuge from the EU justice system. Well, it strikes me that this chief of police officers has spent too much time haggish yaffling, as this is old news and has already happened. Interestingly, this article openly exposes the power transferred to Brussels by the Lisbon Treaty. One. We're going to need to call Simon Cowell for this one and repatriate Piers Morgan. Yes, the Euro Bureau has been flexing Mr Draghi's cash accounting model again. This time, our old friend Neely Crows is back with her astute judgement on all things science and tech. This article looks at a new competitive funding bid for a 1.3 billion euro prize. The EU X Factor for Geeks is designed to stimulate technical development in Europe and keep the EU at the cutting edge. The final rounds are being evaluated now, with the winners to be announced on January the 28th in Brussels. The EU Commission is to dredge an additional 100 million euros from EU taxpayers, or possibly Mr Draghi's money printing presses, whichever you prefer. The cause, however, is a just one, as the aid is targeted at assisting Palestinian families in the Middle East, whose living conditions are totally appalling. I'm sure this will be welcome aid and will carry positive hopes and prayers from EU people to the Palestinian people. Links to the full article are below. Today in our video library, just released from the production team, Trevor Coleman, MEP, introduces Eurocon Episode 3. In this show, Linda investigates the real agenda behind the UK-EU question. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the Eat Unit, And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.